guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sarah wisted today's video i'm sharing with you guys some organization that i just picked up from ikea to organize my daughter's toys now i literally have like 10 minutes to film this video but i wanted to do more of like a vlog style video versus like a sit down explanation video because I basically wouldn't get this done for another full week if I didn't do it this way. Hopefully you guys like a more relaxed type video. So I'm just gonna go down to where my um, daughter's toys are and I will show you guys what we did. Really quickly before we go down there, um, I just wanted to mention that our daughter is only 20 months old so she is still pretty young. She is starting to accumulate more toys which um, if you've been following me you know that. I'm not trying to limit toys but I'm just trying to only bring in like what's necessary for development because at the end of the day, all she wants to do is play with what we have anyway. However, we just had Christmas, of course, so she just upgraded a bunch of her toys, have a lot more than she usually does. So I had to get some organization stuff from Ikea, and you guys were interested to see what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. We do not have a playroom, but what we did do is put it, put like a little play area in our like den space like our family room is what we call it but it's like in the kitchen area and this works so well for us right now i know as they get older it might make sense to do a playroom but for now i like the idea of being able to cook while she plays and i can still see her from the kitchen so let me go show you what we did all right so this is our family room living room situation hey hobbs <laughs> um this is where we spend probably 90 percent of our time when we're at home our kitchen's this way so ignore kind of the mess i've not cleaned that right now but we spend the most time in this area of our house so what we've done up until 20 months shay pretty much just had a basket that was on the floor like right here in this little corner shay honey shay shay <laughs> with all the toys that she had and we would rotate toys and she has a bunch of toys up in her bedroom which actually i can run up there and show you guys because there's a lot of ikea organization up there as well um but now she's getting kind of to the point where she has more toys and more bigger toys we did get her this cute little play kitchen for christmas so i wanted to set it up here because like i said we spend so much time here so i wanted her to be able to enjoy it while we're all hanging out as a family together and yeah so we just set this little corner off the side of the room Oh, I'm falling over chairs. And essentially, if you're back here, like say you're sitting on the couch, for example, you can't really see the toys, which is really what we wanted and what my husband and I just wanted to make sure that we had a nice space for the adults once the kid, kids, I was going to say kids, but once our one baby goes to sleep, we wanted it to feel nice. So we tucked it away kind of in the corner over here just, you know, to have a little space for her, and this is all for her so she can make a mess over here. We can, if we are lazy, we can literally push everything into this corner and not have to worry about it till later. But I did organize it because what I've noticed is everything that was shoved into her little basket that we used to have for her, she couldn't really see what was in there. So it was kind of hard for her to like pick it out and play with it. So starting out, this is the Ikea Besta unit and it's one of my favorite Ikea pieces. We have one in the entry, we have a Besta in our living room this like white piece right here is a besta also i just think it's really streamlined and just makes a lot of sense the one thing i do want to mention that now drives me crazy is i wanted the besta to go obviously like right up against the couch so that this could be used as kind of like a side table which we have you know the lamp up top but this gap you guys is driving me crazy <laughs> the sofa arm right here is just more of a traditional like curved shape and now I'm like dying to get a new sofa just because of that one gap, which is so dumb, I know, but that drives me crazy. We set out her toys, I guess kind of like a Montessori style where she can see what's available and she can reach in and grab them. We have Mostly Love Every Toys, which you guys know are my absolute favorite toys for her. So we have her current Love Every set right here. This one is an old one, but she plays with it all the time at the back. But I'm, I'm trying to put her like current Love Every set here so that it's like the new toys that she gets to play with. That is her developmental milestones. Like that's what she can use for her current stage. I try and make it like spaced and even so she can see and it's not like junky and overwhelming, but you guys know this will probably get really filled up over time, but I'm gonna try my hardest to keep it like clean and organized. We also do toy rotation. Hold on, let me turn it on. 
We also do toy rotation, which means, I mean, I feel like it's pretty straightforward, but like we essentially will take some toys and put them in storage for a few weeks and then like swap them and put, bring those toys out of storage and put some more back in storage. So it kind of feels like she has new toys, but it's really her old toys that she hasn't seen in like three weeks. These bins down here are from Ikea, of course. They are amazing. Like I'm obsessed. We got them in the black for here just because it matches this um, unit. And I, you guys know I like a whole tone on tone situation. These do come with lids for each box. And you can actually, if you wanted to, stack another one on top and it makes it like really easily. And I like the look, of course, with the lids on. But to be honest, I feel like I'm just gonna leave these in here with the lids off because I feel like she can see what's in them a little bit more when she, when we do that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like she can actually like see in there. But if I were to be like crazy about the aesthetic, I'd probably keep these on because it blocks all that random stuff in, in these. I realize this is not some sort of like revelation, but you guys asked to see this, so I'm sharing it. But what I'm really excited about that makes this whole organization situation worth it in my mind is in this drawer or this cabinet. So this is the cabinet that we keep a lot of her creative art supply situation. And uh, art supplies just have so many little pieces to it, like all the different crayons and the paper and the brushes and all of that. So again, these, I think they're called Krugus. I'll put, it, I'll put the links to them down below, but these bins uh, are perfect. And they're from Ikea, so they're a really good price, as you guys know. And I really, really love that they have the tops so that you're not seeing like all the visual clutter that's inside. Because even just without the tops in here, that would still drive me crazy. But I also just love that, like, for example, if she wants to play with Play-Doh, we just pull out the Play-Doh bin and choose the Play-Doh. And you can, like, throw it all back in and not have to worry about it looking any type of way. And you're just nice and organized. I will say I did get three of these big bins thinking another, like, a third one would fit here and it didn't fit, which is totally fine because... I needed a place to put blankets anyway, so I just folded those right there. But yeah, it's kind of great because we have like just some non-toys, like we have like a home scent one and a tech one where Taylor keeps some of his like cords and I don't know, just like random tech stuff. And the other good thing is because they have the tops, if I wanted to buy another set of four to sit on top if we needed it, we could do that. So yeah, I'm obsessed. All right, so now I'm running quickly up to my daughter's room because like I said I'm about to be late picking her up but I if I don't film this right now I'm not gonna film it for another week so here we are here's my daughter's nursery if you guys have not seen it before I did have a full nursery video but we've since moved to this different room so I can do a full detailed video on it later but yeah regarding Ikea because this is like the theme Ikea this is the Ikea Billy bookcase, and I do plan to like style these. I have the shelves, they're all inside that closet actually. Yeah, I think it just adds a little uniqueness and tallness to that side of the room. And we can display some of her cute toys and she can play with them too, and she'll see them in there, which I think will be kind of fun. So other Ikea that I wanna show you guys for organization. This is the Ikea Melm dresser, by the way. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with the Melm as well. In her drawers, Again, I did not organize this for this video, so this is really what it looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. But I tried to neatly fold her clothes, but there's, I need to go through these because they're starting to get like super packed in here. But these um, bins, and I can't remember what these bins are called now, that I think they're called skir Skirgus. I don't know, I'll put them down below. They zip closed, and so, let me see if I can find one. Oh yeah. So you can like zip them closed like flat Hold on. yeah so they go like flat when they come in a pack and they're just like this plastic material so it's nothing crazy we actually take these when we travel so I'll zip I'll unzip them and I'll close them like this sometimes I don't even do that but it's great because when we travel I'll I'll take like two of these bigger squares and I'll have like all of her clothes here some extra t-shirts and pants and then her um like pajamas and socks and stuff and i will i'm able to just like organize her clothes when we travel which is really important to me because i really like things staying nice and neat but yeah these are really cool so also an ikea organization i'll deal with that later okay moving in to where a lot of her other toys are all right so this is her closet again 
I just picked up. I didn't really actually clean for you guys, but this is all of her old clothes <laughs> that I either need to sell or put in storage, but that's literally I'll pick them out of my drawer and throw them up there if they don't fit her anymore. <laughs> so that's TBD. But anyway, so these are like all her clothes are hung up, but the, for the IKEA purpose of this video, this these two pieces are IKEA as well. I, again, forgetting the name, but I'll link it below. But I just like love like walking in here and you can see all her toys kind of just like downstairs. But these are ones that she doesn't play with as often. So we'll, we have them in here and she does still come in here and play and she'll pick things out and see like what she has. Um, but yeah, you can like rotate your toys around in here also. It's also nice just to have a different space to go to versus like having to stay in the same space every time. So obviously she likes coming up here and picking out these toys. This is also from Ikea. It's the Billy bookcase, but we put doors on it. So it looks more kind of like a display cabinet almost. I need to find something to go right here, but another bookcase would not fit. So we got to figure that out. So right now we just have all of her soft toys there. But yeah, that's about it, you guys. Very simple, but I don't know. Ikea just makes my life so much easier. All right, you guys, so that was it. That was my short little video sharing with you our Ikea organization for toys. Anyway, this was the end of this video. I'll try and link as much down below as I can. I'm gonna go, I hope you guys are having a good one. If you liked this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I'm sure I'll talk to you guys on my next video.